We've already discussed how to choose a paddle, so now we're going to look how to use it. To start off with, you need to decide which is your control hand. In general, the right hand will be the control hand for right-handed paddlers, and the left hand for left-handed paddlers. This control hand keeps a firm grip on the shaft at all times, which is why we also call it the glue hand. This control hand's grip should never change, whether you're forward paddling, back paddling, bracing, rolling, or doing anything else. After taking a stroke with a blade by your control hand, you'll loosen off your other hand, which we often call the greased hand, so the shaft can rotate within it, so the paddle next paddle blade can plant squarely in the water. This rotation is necessary to accommodate the feather or twist of your paddle, and lets you place the next blade in the water squarely. This loosening of the grease hand and the rotation of the shaft within it takes place between each stroke. Your grip on the paddle should be secure but light, with your hands equal distances from the blades. A light grip will let you paddle more comfortably for longer, and will help you avoid such overuse injuries as tendonitis in the wrist. A good way to quickly check to see if your hands are in the right position is to lift your paddle up onto your head. The angle at which your arms are bent should be around 90 degrees. This hand placement gives you the best mix of control and power. 